This interview is being um, recorded at uh, Patchway Police Station in Bristol. It is now Tuesday the 3rd of March 2015 and it's exactly 12 midday. Um, I'm DC 3302 Marie Stephen and the other police officer present is DC Mark Uther 2702. Nathan, can you give us your full name? Nathan Charles Matthews. Thank you. And your date of birth? The 9th of the 1st, 1987. Thank you. And the other people present in the interview are? Robin Rowland on behalf of Crossroads Sisters. And Liz Warlock, appropriate adult. Thank you. So, Nathan, we've had a short break. Um, perhaps if I just flag up for the um, recording what this interview is about. It's about the kidnap and murder of Becky Watts. Um, over the last couple of days we've had four recordings. The last was a very short recording and I know you needed to have a break then. I explained to you this morning why we needed to, rather than simply take at face value the written statement that you have given to us last night, and we need to explore what you've told us some more. Um, I know that was difficult for you first thing this morning, but that's what we need to carry on and do, and ask you some more questions. Can you rephrase? Um. I don't know what questions you need to ask, but obviously you said something about, um, something about Shauna, can you rephrase it? Mm -hmm. So, you can include basically everybody in it and not use her name. Like, do you want me to say I think, yeah, the, the other person? Is it just saying the name? I just include everybody in it. Like, yeah. obviously, she's in Obviously, it will be included in it, but include everybody. I don't say her name. Okay. Okay. I'll do my best to avoid using that name where I can, Nathan, okay? I can't make promises. And what I would say to you is that I'm not going to be doing anything to deliberately wind you up or anything like that, okay? Um, but we've obviously been here a long time, and if I make a slip up, it may well be because I'm tired and those things happen, okay? <coughs> Can you tell me then, Nathan, because if we work through what you told us in this written statement, this um, was it, idea that you, you had... Obviously you obviously, I think you wanted more detail, yeah. was it? Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously I sh should be able to go into more detail. Mm -hmm. Remember the discussion we had before coming in, though? Huh? Remember the discussion we had before coming in? I don't know. There are a couple of are ways. Are you going to have to? Are you going to have to read that statement? No. There are a couple of ways we could get around this. <coughs> obviously, I don't want that to be read. To someone. <coughs> I don't want to read this out in full again, Nathan, but what I wanted to do <coughs> was get some more detail from you about things that you've said in it. So perhaps if I could pull out some things from what you've told us and ask you to expand on it, tell us a bit more. Does that sound all right? <clears throat> How about if we start with this idea you had about scaring Becky? Tell me about how that started up then, how you got that idea. Uh, I don't know if it was on TV or something like that, but obviously I had a couple of dreams about. But Nathan, at this point, I can't keep interrupting, but do you remember the 
discussions we had before you came into interview. And how we, how you, and I discussed you dealing with the interview. Right, what was the question again? About the the idea that you got, and you said it might have been something on TV or you had a dream. Well, I came up with the idea to scare her, because, like, to try and basically make her more appreciative mm -hmm. of life, so she'd be more appreciative for other people. She'd be, like, grateful that, you know, she wasn't harmed or anything like that, or, you know. Because obviously, um, she'd leave things out on the floor of my mum to trip over her and obviously would talk to her um, like the so same uh, nasty comments and talk to her like dirt on the floor and obviously I thought if I was you know able to scare her and obviously her not be harmed and obviously be released obviously when she got back <coughs> She obviously would have been scared and more appreciative of things, as people are. Okay. So tell me what you thought you were going to do. What your plan was. So obviously stick her in the suitcase. Obviously, um... Obviously put tape around her mouth so she wouldn't make any noise. And then, <sighs> I don't want to interrupt you, Nathan, but just one thing, it might be difficult to hear this later. Do you reckon you could speak up a bit? Obviously, I, what, um, what the plan was obviously once I got her in the car to make up some up to say to... say to Shauna, um, obviously I had to leave, like, to help someone or do something for some up. And obviously I was going to um, I was thinking of like a wooded area or whatever to obviously take her back out to obviously still have the mask on and obviously like scare her and you know say some along the lines of you know you've got to start treating people um, start treating people better, you know, not being a bitch or self-centred. Um, and then, like, make a threat of, um, you know, or, you know, or this could happen again or worse or something like that. And obviously, um, <coughs> I hadn't figured out exactly how to obviously walk like obviously walk away after without obviously but if she'd try and follow I'm assuming she wouldn't have followed because I'm out of fear he wouldn't want to follow someone who just obviously has done that. And obviously I would have come back. But I would have obviously um chucked away obviously everything first and then come back. And obviously would have acted as normal. That come back to my mum's, obviously, like it is normal. So when did you think all of this up? I can't be certain. I'm no good with dates. Okay. I've said this repeatedly in days muddling to other days. I don't have a specific memory yeah. of coming up with it, but I remember thinking about it a couple of times. Just basically trying to think of ways to, because obviously she don't li she won't listen to me about leaving shit on the floor for my mum to trip up on. She doesn't listen to her dad about it. Just trying to make, find a way of making her actually listen. Had you had a conversation with her soon before that? 
I can't that. I can't remember when I last saw her. Like I said in the statement, it could have been okay. Wednesday when we went over, or it could have been the Monday before. It depends on when she was in and when she wasn't in, and if she was in, it depends on when she would have come down. Do you think you want some legal advice at this stage? Can we, this is going differently than we discussed. Um, I don't know. Probably here. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's twelve eleven p.m. 